Hello. Happy Sunday. I thought I'd bring some channels that are pretty interesting to watch. As I was playing this game, as you can see here, everything you see right here, I was listening to Cliff High, and Cliff High explains the biosphere and the newest sphere. Now I use some newest sphere teachings because I, I use the Mayan calendar as a calendar, the dream spell calendar. And I'll put in some shots of it, but it goes by instead of having weeks, and I, I'd say the weeks make you weak. I think they make you weak. So if you try, if you ride the waves, you're not only weak. You're getting you're getting your legs fucking working out. You're getting your mind's legs working out. You just gotta have it. It's good stuff. There's Indigo Angel, of course. I've got her playing in the back background. She's a lovely lady. She's got a lot of uh, interesting information that she's into. She's currently at Machu Picchu, so I fucking hate her. I'm just playing. I just I'm jealous. I'd love to go to Machu Picchu. I should manifest that. Machu Picchu. One of the coolest places. There's another place down there called um Oh, what's the name of it? I think it's in Chile. It's the uh, the Eagles Fortress. But it's pretty fascinating too. I also noticed something about another channel to watch. That's pretty good. If you're into all these topics of uh, alternative history, uh, the, the real world war that's going on between the light and the dark is uh, Akvila. I don't know how you say her last name. Akvila Saville. Maybe it's Saville. I don't know. She said that if you have entities that are gogging you down, wearing you down, giving you shit, feeling your body, and and put a target on it, tell your mind to put a target on it, then use your hands to feel over your body to see where there is a, a sensation of warmth or it doesn't have to be warmth, it could be anything. And I thought, you know, that's a good idea because you're using the polarity to put the target on it with your mind, but then you're having your body still search. So it's like she added an extra step that I didn't have. And I appreciate that because maybe that's part of why sometimes our psychic shit doesn't work. Because we seem to be missing a step because we infer something we shouldn't, we shouldn't infer. And I think that's probably true most of the times. We infer all kinds of things due to our programming and our worldview that don't make a bit of sense and it's always it's always important to be ready to learn something new and to be open in your mind to take some new information in because you never know it, it might be one little block that you need that puts us puts a puzzle together for you this whole world is a fucking puzzle everything you do everything you experience you can find such deep meaning in it if you're but open to it. You can find the answers to the universe because they're already right inside of you. You just got to find a way to extract them out into the conscious mind so that you can have access to them. But we don't live in a world of... of uh, scarcity and need our world has more than an abundance to keep us alive and keep us going but it's people that want to control everything that makes it makes us believe that 
because they profit from it. Like you can see all the manufacturing plants in the United States have been attacked. You know, and that's like a, that's a terrorist grade attack. But who's doing it? I tell you our own side's doing it. Because if we had a different president, they would say that's a terrorist attack. When it comes to the time when it's hard for everyone to get food, and it becomes a real problem, then we're really going to know what these people were doing to us. That's why it's really important that we get off of our bullshit, all of our stupid uh, divisions and stuff like that and mind control, the way that if we have a different idea, someone attacks you. But fuck that. If someone has a different idea, that's great. We need different ideas. We don't always need the same bullshit ideas. So it's important for people to be... to be free. I got a wrong number the other day from a... a girl that she was saying she was trying to get Isabella's number. I'm like, well, you got Kelly's number. She's, I was like, she's like, well, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. And I was like, no, it's fine. How do you know? How do you know it wasn't fake? <laughs> All like natural born killers. I started talking to her. She said she was, her name was Erica and she was from China. You know how many Chinese Ericas there are. I'm like, bullshit. Then I said, well, you know, I think it's interesting to talk to somebody that may be in China. I find it interesting. I don't have Facebook, so I don't... I don't have the global... connections like that, unless I get them on here. Different people from different places. I like to hear what they say, I like to hear their responses if they comment. Or do something like that, because people, people are... We're, we're all the same. If we didn't have different languages, most of us are pretty much... We, we like to have our families. We like to find love, we like to make art and music, and in that way we're all pretty much the same. We can't readily understand each other though, but you know what, I don't even think, I don't even think we were ready for that at the beginning. So I'm not going to go into Tower of Babel language, but you know, if that was the case and that's what happened. I like to think there's reasons for things to happen without having to go off. Thomas Sheridan said that they'll, they'll come out with a new booster shot and a lot of people will, will actually end up, like a lot of people have already ended up dead from uh, the jabba dabba do you know complications and different stuff and whoever makes it out at the end which I'm counting myself because I didn't ever get sick and I never got the vaccine and I never am that's my personal opinion I'm not telling anybody YouTube I'm not giving anyone personal advice and telling you my situation is I never got it. I never needed it. I don't want it. And I don't. <clears throat> I don't want nothing to do with it. So he said that those people that would survive it would be the tribe. And then the next video starts going into the Christian versus the pagan hatred again. He's got a big problem with Christianity that he needs to just fucking suck it up and get over. So I commented that, I was like, man, what is it going to be? We're going to survive it through this thing and then we're going to be arguing with each other about who's Christians or whatever? And half the shit he says, he's the only 
that's the only time I ever heard it was from him. That the pagans did need to have the t Ten Commandments. Like, no, they didn't. You know? And then some other crap about, you know, it's just stupid to go on and on and on. Because really, he just makes fun of people. Belittles the Bible people and tries to really just belittling itself. There's no point in it. We live in a world where we could either be fighting each other or we could be working together and coming together. And that, I think that's why we're here. To put our differences aside. Come together for the things that are all our vested interest in and common to us all. And to focus on that. Because that's where humanity shines. But I mean, if you gotta... If you've gotta beat somebody up and you gotta run around and be like... Oh, I'm marginalized and I'm a slave. I was a slave. And I'm not treated right and all this stuff. You're failing. You're failing the test. You know, there's a lot of things that I could bitch about that I don't feel privileged or entitled to. But I'm not gonna do it just not going to do it. There's no point in it. It doesn't go anywhere. It gets us fighting with each other when time we need to come together.